This is the electric bunker base. This is going to show you how to set up a bunker base with two solar panels, three turrets, a light, and a heater. This circuit can potentially power up to four different turrets. So you can either have it set up where the turrets just turn on, or you can have the turrets turn on along with the bay doors themselves. Again, this is only a one medium battery, and the medium battery can be purchased at the Bandido Camp. And if you'd like to see this build and how the circuits all work and stuff, be sure to check out the link to the video. The full video, if you're watching this as a short, it's also in the description and as a pinned comment. And if you're watching us now, just keep watching because we're going to go into it. Okay, so I am a bit sick. This is pretty bad. This is take number 52. So let's go ahead and figure this out. Okay, so um, again, I, I, just assuming that you would put these different turret pods anywhere you want. You can put them as a, as a free ball turret. You put them as a housed turret, which I would recommend. But either way, uh, you should be able to do all of these different things from the switch down here. And you can see we have a light, a heater, a splitter, and all kinds of little goodies here. It's a nice little cozy solo bunker base. And then what's really nice is you got a kill switch for everything right here. So let's go ahead and show you what the power consumption is with everything on. So we've got, this is the turret circuit breaker. So you can see the pink, the black, and what is that? Um, orange? Those are for the different turrets outside. And then so when everything's on, you're using 46 units of power, which is kind of a lot. But if you want to just turn off the turrets, which are three of them, that's a lot. Come back here and you're only using 8 units of power for the heater and for the light. And again, if you want all these things turned off, you can kind of adjust this little breaker up here if you want to, or you can shut everything off, and then you're saving all that kind of power right there. Okay, so yeah, we're going to go through the build, but this is primarily focused on the electricity. Okay, so let's go over here and do this real fast. I don't want to make this as quick as possible. I'll try to give you some of the tips and stuff as we go, but... Okay, so again, this is going to be like the side saddle base. I'll go ahead and link that bad boy now in the upper right-hand corner. But with some slight variations. So this one isn't going to be as cheap, and it's going to leave you a little bit more vulnerable in the start. But overall, this should be pretty good for you. Okay, so this is going to be where the battery housing goes. We're going to stick a half hole here. Keep it softy, softy. We're going to come over here. Place a frame. And then this is going to seem a little weird. You're going to stick this window frame here, soft side facing you. And then you're going to take your tool cupboard. This one's different. You're going to uh, go up against the corner and the back wall with the knobs facing you. That's key. Authorize. And then slap a wooden lock on there. I'm just assuming you're rolling solo. You know what I mean? I'm just going to put a bunch of these materials in here. And again, this is for console and PC. So it's for everybody. Okay. So let's go ahead and try to get this a little bit realistic here. So um, you would stick a door on there. We're just going to go ahead and get this piece out here real fast because it's, it's a little goofy. You want to make sure you get it right. And place it right there. I'm kind of a big fan of going wood on these these days. Okay, so you can get that medium battery at the Bandit Camp. It does cost 75 scrappy doodles. Where are you? There it is. It's kind of good to buy it because it costs tech trash. So even if you learned it, I mean, do you really want to spend the tech trash that early? I know I don't because I'm cheap. So if you come up here, as long as that panel for the medium battery is facing you, you can slide it in right there. You can even do this when the when the lid's on top, the lid, the roof tile. You get everything kind of closed off here. And <coughs> as we're filling in the rest here, just know that um, solar panels can also be purchased at the outpost for 75 scrap. Again, that takes a piece of tech trash to build. So because it takes a piece of tech trash, I'm a big fan of just buying it outright. So really you need 150 scrap to get things kind of rolling. I like to get the solar panel up and running as soon as possible so you can start to charge on the battery itself. And then you can stick boxes and stuff back here. We're just going to kind of throw them up willy-nilly so you guys get the idea. Okay, so let's get the rest of this bad boy here. So this particular build, we're just going to have like an extra um, furnace area here. This is going to be the back wall where we stick all of our electronics. Normally you would stick like a wooden door here, but we're going to go right to the bunker portion of this. Speed it up. Here is the jump up for the bunker. The sealed section. This is going to be where your um, door port is at. And if you have metal, this is the time to use it right here on this doorway. Just 
You know, let me pull back so you guys can see. I didn't do that earlier. Let me do that. So right in front of my character on the top of the screen for you guys is going to be where the TC is. And then the triangle off to the right is where the battery is. Does that help? <coughs> yeah. More coughing. Alright, so since this is going to be... I can't help it. I'm so used to like playing. I'm like, let's go ahead and just put all the little necessities in here. So you stick your extra materials, your hammer, and your blueprints there so you can actually put up your bunker itself. Let's go back over here, place the walls around you. And then a stone tile on the top. And then let's put a metal door here. I think that's the most important. I like to have it open towards me. And then for the airlock up here, I'm just going the cheap. It helps hide everything, really. Uh, you know what? Let's put these ceiling tiles in place, shall we? And then I'll pull back one more time so you guys can see this. And so I can cough. Bingo. Now your boy's got a headache. He's coughing so much. Okay, so south side facing you. I like to make these wood because you're going to change them out later. It really helps hide you. Makes other people that have a lot more loot go, yeah, we probably don't want to raid these dudes. Have these open inwards because this becomes a single pass through. And then for the top, I really like to make this stone. But in this case, it's going to be stone because it's a good way to uh, hold up your solar panel. So we're going to make a jump up here. But more importantly, we have to come down here. I make a jump up. So I'm going to put a triangle piece here and a half wall. I'm going to make these wood so people can't shoot them out easily. This is how you get into the base. So now, assuming that you did get your solar panels, at least one, <coughs> either come up here, place a solar panel northeast. I always want to place them northeast for the morning and then southwest for uh, the afternoon evening. Okay, so we're going to go back down here. Now we're just going to fly up to those next. Okay, so what I like to do here, you do need a root combiner. I th did we get this right last time? I think it was like right like this. Take the root combiner up here. We're going to make this bright blue. We're going to have this go all the way upstairs. So what I like to do is kind of run this up against the wall here. Kind of like just bring it up the edge and uh, jump up to like the ceiling tile. You can kind of jump up here. It's great that this, this um, the cable actually can be placed where you're jumping around. It helps out a lot. Again, left and right trigger to get things going. You can undo them there. I like to stick them just under the feet. <coughs> I should have left the freaking panel up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And it connected that way. As a matter of fact, I'm going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me, I am still sick. We end up making this a thing later. Everyone's going to be like, I remember when you did this like 52 times, you messed it up. You're coughing all over the place. I'd be like, I know. Alright, so we're going to bring this down here. Kind of the same thing. We're going to use this edge as like a channel. All the different cables and whatnot. And bring that up to a root combiner. Now... We're going to take the blue and jam it in. So in this case, we're going to kind of uh, uh, bring it up here, then uh, attach it to the wall and bring it down and over. Now, if you can't afford a big battery like this, use a car battery. Anything will help. You want to start charging your battery immediately. And we'll swig of water while we're looking at this. Now... The root combiner just combines sources of power and pumps it out the other side. Now, if this, this is getting a little bit too complex, a little bit too crazy, which is totally understandable because it's a bit much, we do have the Power Basics video. I'll go ahead and link that now in the upper right-hand corner. I would strongly suggest if th this is not making sense. There's also some examples over there to help you along the way. And remember, this takes practice. This is no different than the building in Rust. At first, it was very foreign and complicated, but now probably a lot more proficient at it. <coughs> okay. 
Now we have that. Our solar panels are connected and taking a charge, which is beautiful. Now we can go downstairs. <coughs> We're going to make the turret room back here. Just kind of pinch it off. Seal it up. And again, you're going to have to learn the reinforced window frame at some point, but... And we're going to stick a level 1 bench in here. Why not? Got to get things realistic, shall we? And I forgot the most important thing. I don't know why I didn't do this. Make sure you put your bag in here, because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. Keep it off the socket there. And for your main loot room, let's go ahead and put a door there. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. And then what I have been doing, I'm just going to throw this in here now. These bit boys are quite nice. <clears throat> have one facing this way, one facing the other. Just make sure you're not too close to the top, bottom, or left or right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, for the interior here, we're going to do lights, and then we're going to do a heater. Do we have the heater? We have the heater. Really great for the winter biome. And then we have... <coughs> Where's our light? <laughs> I'm raspy. Come on down below if you hate the coffee. Okay, so our light's going to be... <clears throat> well, you know what? Let's take this door off so we can kind of see what's going on. We just added the door. So you're going to have a box up here. That's fine. I start to sound like Steve-o. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to have a master switch on this other side that's going to control... Um, most everything. But um, these over here are just going to control the lights and the heater. So we're going to split them up into two. The light's going to be green. And they do have a pass through, which makes this really nice to daisy chain them all together. <coughs> and the heater is going to be yellow. Apologies, I'm very sick. I think I have this in the right direction. We're about to find out. I don't think I did. I did it. Okay. We need it the other way. I don't know why I keep messing that up, but I do. Okay, so the branch. We're going to need to make sure that this actually has the right amount of power coming off of it. <coughs> So the output of the battery is going to go from here to the bottom of our switch here. I'm going to go into this branch. And the left side is going to be going to our, what is it, our light and our heater. So we're going to configure this for six units of power. I think it was six. I can't remember. Then we're going to take it over to, I guess we'll make that red. Why not? Uh, the left side, if you're looking at uh, the branch this way, the left side is the branch. I'm going to bring this over to the splitter. Okay, six was not enough. I think it's seven. <coughs> seven it is. So what the branch is doing, no matter what, wh whatever you configure it to always goes off to the left. And this is why we have a kill switch here, because we don't want a bunch of leakage happening here. You can see we have eight units of power. We turn it off. Now it's got none. So that's how this side works. So this switch is going to work for all power, but also the light and the heater. <coughs> Am I gasping for air or what's, what's up? It was eight before, but then we knocked it down to seven. You're, you're right, Mr. Stevens. Okay. So now that we have that, over here is where we're going to place our turret port controls. We're going to place a switch here so we can control those individually because they take a lot of power. And we're going to take... Did we make it yellow before? I think we did. So yellow is going to be the turret power. Main. That's coming through. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to bring this in the bottom here. It's a little tight. I just want to put all this stuff in here so you guys have a feel for just how tight it is. That's what she said. Oh, yeah. Ooh, woo. Okay, again, <clears throat> this is not how you're going to set this up. I'm going to put a port on the side. 
and one down low. Kind of give you an idea. You would normally stick this up and elevate it. Uh, you can stick it on top of honeycomb and whatnot. I'm going to place one here because it's a bit easy to kind of show off. We're going to show uh, two different variations. One where you just power it and one that has door controllers. And I hope this helps. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make this one orange. We're going to bring it over to the upper side here. Kind of put this all backwards. Okay, so I know um, if you don't have roller doors initially, just use the metal fence gate. Why the gate? Because you can pick it back up. I know it has some bad stuff with it because you can shoot through it and whatever, but you don't want people grabbing your stuff. <coughs> I want to make it more difficult for them to actually get your stuff. Okay, so we're going to place the turret here. Let's say this door is not here yet. Now what I like to do is stick this branch here. And then what do we have? Orange coming into here. So we're going to go downstairs. You know what? Let's make this orange. So our input is going to go into our main circuit downstairs. Bring it in on the wall here, and then kind of bring it down this conduit. Over here, back up on this upper lip here. <clears throat> and back around. Well, you gotta really get back on that. Okay. <clears throat> now, if everything's on... This should send power upstairs. We don't have everything connected yet. Okay, so the way this is going to work, because remember, the branch on the left side is the branch out, and the right side is power out. So the turret's always going to take the power out. <coughs> and they go right here and then connect to the turret. So now when we turn this on downstairs... Oops, can I have this one on to you? We should hear this power up. Do we, do we not have this powered up? Is your boy... Is your boy... Oh, we turned that off like an idiot. Okay, now that's working. <clears throat> so if you just want to have this on top of your base, that's completely fine. But if you'd like to have the door open and closed, that's okay because this branch out right here is just enough to operate two doors. So if we go get ourselves a door controller... <clears throat> now... What you want to do, uh, no matter what the door is, you need to have a lock on it. Set it to green, so open. Or, I'm sorry, unlocked. Pair the door controller that way. <coughs> you know it's paired when it's green. Then go over back to the lock and relock it. So now this door is paired to that. So now, we, we, we. if we put power to there, the door is going to open. So if you take the branch out, which is default 2... Bring it up to the door controller. We're good to go. That helps if you back up if you have a hard time connecting it. Good to go. Now, what's great about that is if you have another door, you can daisy chain it off the top. And that's the example we'll do next. Man, I sound wrecked. So sorry for all the coughing. Now, if we go downstairs, you'll see when we turn it off, it all goes off. The turret... The door, all of it. We turn it back on. It all comes on. Beautiful. Now let's do a port over here that does two of them at one time. <coughs> let's turn this off because we may not have enough power in this example. Because We haven't really been charging this a whole lot. Right, we're going to leave the roof tile open. And again, up here you'd have like a loot room or something around this. And you'd just use the outside door to kind of load this thing up and do authorize. You wouldn't have the side exposed like that. Okay, so we're going to put up roller boys right here. Locks. I'm going to stick a door controller here and a door controller here. We're going to uh, turn this one green, unlock it. I like to do them one at a time. <coughs> I 
It helps to stick it on the frame because they do get a little bit fickle. Just like that. It does not want me to pair it, so you'd have to move it. Really? Is it because it's open? It can't be. Really? It was. Okay. Well, that's paired. You like it? Don't want to be a, a chode. Unlock it. It's paired. Relock it. I made a door key. What a no-no. <coughs> okay. Now what we can do is stick that branch over here. And what did we make this hot pink last time? So now we can take uh, the left side of the branch, which has two units of power. It's going to come out to the door controller. This uses one unit of power. We can pass that over to the other door controller across the way here and then operate this. So when this gets turned on, this operates the, uh, shoot, the turret, and it opens the doors. Have this go inside here for a sec. Place the dirt down here. <coughs> Make sure it doesn't hang out. And again, imagine this is elevated. Then we're going to connect. Whoops, we're going to make this pink. Just connect the turret this way. Now we're going to close this. Technically, the power is off. So now when we turn this on, this should activate this, the door, this turret, and these two doors. It would help if I actually had this stuff on. Okay, now that the main power is on, <coughs> now we're going to turn this on. All of these are open. And you have enough power to put another turret somewhere else. So you don't necessarily have to put doors behind it, but I would strongly recom recommend it. Woo! It's a rough one, but coughing all the way through it. So there you go. That's how you set up an electronic bunker base. I hope this helps out. If you need more help setting up turrets and how to power them, I do have the powered turret set up. We'll throw that up on the end screen now. Deep.